In this video, we'll be talking about StreamYard, which is a wonderful option, user-friendly, to be able to do church live streams. Hello, this is David Toller with Supplemental Seminary. Thanks for joining me. And please consider subscribing, liking the video, and leave me a comment as we make uh, more tutorials and so forth in the future. But today I want to talk to you about one called StreamYard. And I want to show my screen here. This is a wonderful program. I absolutely love it. I've been trying it out. And I usually when I'm doing my tutorial videos like I'm doing right now, I'm actually recording on a program called OBS, Open Broadcast Software. There's a whole lot that goes into this. I drag this on the screen from the second one. And so you can see what I'm working with there. But I'll drag that off to the side. But when I do my live streams on my Wednesday nights and so forth, I like to use the StreamYard because it's so easy. You can add guests, invite guests, bring things up on the screen. And so let me show you around in here. And then too, something else you're going to like, it's free. So to log in, they're not going to show you any pricing or anything. Let me back up again and show you that. You're not going to see any price in here. It's going to show you some of the features, some of the testimonials. And what you have to do to log in is get your email. And so I'm going to get a six-digit six code that I need to plug in here each time, which I can log in here at the house. I also log in also there at the church and done that Sunday. So let me copy this code here. Gives you a new one each time. Close that out. Copy, paste. Log into it. So you see some couple things here I think you'll like. And like I said, it's so user friendly. We have here, uh, we have upcoming broadcast, we have past broadcast. Real simple setup, not much here. You know, you got your account there, it just tells you a little bit about billing and so forth. Not much to write about as far as that goes. But let me just show you a couple things here. And let me go clicker. Okay, I'm going to create a broadcast. Let me show you how easy this is. Just ignore everything under here. So you create a broadcast, and then you'll need to connect some of your Facebook, YouTube. Now, on the free version, you're only going to be able to stream. That's one of the downsides. Only be able to stream to one location. One location. And so when I was trying it out, I just streamed to our church page. So I've added the church page here for Facebook also have my Supplemental Seminary Facebook page. I have our Faith Baptist YouTube page. And then I need to add the Supplemental Seminary uh, would it be the YouTube page. But I haven't done that yet. But in that sense, I would only be able to click two of these, which would be on the paid version, which is, I believe, $20, $25 a month. We'll look at that later. But two locations. Let's say you're just doing one location. And what's great about this is you can set it up and you can set it up for now or later. So let's do my supplemental seminary. I'm going to be doing this webinar. I'll be talking about it at the end of this video. And we could put in here, let's just put webinar and then you can put in your description. Okay, please join us. All right, of course, this is not the one I'm going to use, but uh, please join us. All right, you can schedule it for later. Okay. This is just going to be a test. In fact, let's put that test. All right, now we're ready. All right, schedule for later. You could upload a thumb, uh, thumbnail image, which is pretty neat. You don't need that. It's not needed. So let's set it. You know, right here it says for today. I could put it on tomorrow. I'm doing this 15th. Let's say 7 o'clock. Well, actually, I'm doing it at 8 o'clock. So let's put 8 o'clock. And I put PM. And then I'm going to put create a broadcast. And so what I've done is scheduled a future broadcast. Now, when you get ready to enter and do your live stream, you can go in and come over here to where it says Enter Broadcast Studio. And when, you're, when you do that, you'll come into this awesome studio that makes everything so easy here. Now, right now, it's not going to let me check in here, but this would be the the place you would come. Right now I'm using OBS, so it's not allowing me. It's taking over my camera and so forth. So I locked up there in a minute. But anyway, I'm just going to enter without camera mic. And I can't get in there because I'm connected. But what you can do is you can add yourself in here. You can bring guests on and you split screen. And then what's neat over here is you can integrate all the comments 
uh, that are coming in. So let's say, you know, somebody says, please uh, join us. All right, and then I hit enter, and it's going to come up here. And what this is great here, you click on this little plus, and you can add it to the stream here at the bottom. So you can bring up people's, I've done this last night with our prayer request, bring them up across the bottom there and show, as you can see, that's my supplemental seminary comment page. You can add banners, and then, you know, you can show that for a while, the comments, and then hide that. Of course, normally you would be on here, as I've already taken over my camera and mic, so I can't show you that. But anyway, you got your banners. This is one banner I used last night as far as talking about, you know, the Sunday service. And then I also put here a little ticker. You can click on this button here and edit and put a little clicker, a minimum of 200 words. And as you can see here, if I add that, now you have that scrolling across the bottom. So that's an option. There is some branding here, like the logo. If you're using the free version, which is really no big deal. Okay, let's say you just want to stream to one place. You're welcome to do that. And, of course, you have a private chat. And then there's some settings here. You can check your camera and green screen, which I'm not fooling around with that, but... You can invite different guests on. You can have one, two, three, four. I'm not sure how many people you can have on here, but it's quite a few. Then go over to, let's see. All right, so what I was, what I was saying is right here, you're going to have this StreamYard watermark logo in the corner and with the free version. But I'm telling you, I've seen it. And, you know, most people that are streaming right now don't want to invest a whole lot. That's not a big deal. It hasn't bothered me any having that logo, but to get that watermark of that logo taken off, you have to upgrade. So let's hide that. Also, you could add your own logo in the corner uh, right here. Okay. So you could add your own logo. They've got some overlays here, for example, like that. Of course, you want to create your own. Uh, let me take this other one off. I got all these banners and things going here. So let's hide those. So you could, you know, add a little uh, branding in there, background. You can, you know, show that. That's the one provided. Private chat. I mean, this is so easy. And then when you do go live, you just click the button here. It takes care of it. It, it makes the post for you on Facebook and YouTube. And when you hit go live, you're live. And you can join people in this section right here beforehand. Let's say you're going to have a guest. And so I could be over the whole screen there or either, and I'll have to do a screen recording and show you later that, you know, you have your guest, what I done when we had this discussion, I was over here and then our, our guest missionary was here. Of course, we didn't have all these banners up here. So let me show you, uh, taking those off and these, this branding and hide that. So that's a great thing. You can you know, bring things up, take them off on your end, add the comments. If somebody says something like that, it's easy. I'm telling you, you, and what's great too is down here at the bottom, you can share your screen. You can invite people and that's easy to, to join you. Of course you'd want, I'm sure you'd want to give them a little heads up so you can share your screen. It'll ask you, it's user friendly, ask you questions. What screen would you like to share? Let's put the first one. So now at least you can see that, or, you know, you can stop sharing the screen. Let me share the second screen, a little bit more to see there. All right, so I've brought up and I'm sharing my screen now. Of course, later I could add myself to the stream if be uh, in there and go back and forth, make it full screen, you know, bring people in. So that's a neat little deal there. Let me hide that. And then invite people. You just click the link here and you just want to copy and paste this, uh, of course, you'd have your own individual link to send someone. And of course, I'll be deleting this one. You could send it. Let me just mark it out. But you'd have, you know, share the guest link. You can send it through uh, email, uh, Gmail, or just copy it to clipboard, go over Facebook, you know, text it to someone. They could join you on there. Of course, I do all this through the desktop. So this is a wonderful tool. I, I just wanted to share this with you. And I, I think it's pretty neat. I've enjoyed it. It's it's user friendly. Yes, I know how to do OBS that you're seeing on the screen right now with all the delay and adding all the different scenes and so forth as far as that goes and bringing myself up. Of course, I'm locked up now because of the it's trying to take over my camera. But you get the idea. 
And so try it out. Give it a try. I think you'll really like it. Very user-friendly. It'll help you. One other thing I want to mention before I let you go. There is something here that you want to get in on is there will be a there's a free version of this a free version that you can download and i'm gonna put a link in the description below so that if you decide to go with this you can get a ten dollar coupon all right so ten dollars off if you do decide to purchase it so i'll put that in the link in the description and try out StreamYard. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. In the meantime, this is David Toller with Supplemental Seminary.